right, in this video, uh, I'm going to just cover briefly and quickly a uh, topic on uh, water filtration. Uh, it's not desalinization, meaning it's not taking salt out of the water if this was seawater. This is basically fresh lake water I have or water from a creek or a stream. Um, it shouldn't be standing water like just murky bog water. Uh, it's best to get running water from a from a uh, an aggressive creek or a, a creek that's kind of got some swirling or even a fresh spring. Um, if it's from a lake shore, then it's going to kind of look like this, and there's little you know um, algae bits in it, and uh, there's probably other little critters swimming around. And so you 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 in an extreme emergency situation, you could possibly drink this and be okay. Um, it's not recommended. Uh, so you would need to um, filter um, at the very least and at the, at the very most is to boil your water. And uh, you'll want to boil your water at least a minute. Uh, it's best to boil it three minutes. Um, and you can do this before filtering it or you can do it after filtering it. Uh, but filtering and boiling, which is disinfecting the water, uh, you're getting rid of the microscopic pathogens that can make you sick. Uh, at uh, 212 degrees Fahrenheit uh, for three minutes, uh, at least one minute. Uh, and then you will run it through a filtration uh, contraption that we have here. And all this is is, is just a, a Coke bottle. It could be a funnel made out of um, bark. It could be uh, t-shirts uh, or cloth spread along, you know, three layers, four layers of t-shirts. Uh, in a TP fashion, but in this particular format, there is uh, maybe a cloth here, uh, and then it starts off with wood charcoal that's been washed, sand, and then gravel, and then you can repeat that process. So this is just a two liter Coke bottle that's been cut off, and I burnt the edges here a little bit so that they're not rough, you know, they're not gonna cut me. And then the whole, then, then the cap here has holes that I uh, punched in. And so I would pour this um, unclean or unfiltered water through the uh, filter here. And you have to do it probably a number of times uh, to get it to look like this, nice and clear uh, and almost potable. The charcoal is the key. It, it does a lot of the uh, uh, cleaning and the scrubbing of, of the water. And a lot of times you can add uh, grasses, to your filter uh, as another layer and uh, um, yeah so this is a pretty quick and easy uh, way to make a water filtr filtration uh, system at the end of the day though you must boil your water okay to get rid of any microbes and pathogens you should boil it so that's the key but anyways in this video I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of uh, run through uh, the, you know, changing this lake water into this nice, clear, uh, drinkable water. Okay, I'm at the lake here. I'm gonna get some of this lake water. It's nice and algae filled, and it's lake. So, I've got my container here. Let's see about filtering this out. All right, here's a um, <clears throat> water uh, purification uh, experiment using natural uh, materials. And I went to uh, a nearby lake and I harvested some lake water. This is straight from the lake. Um, you can kind of tell it's lake water. Um, it's not something you'd want to drink right away. Um, I mean, in an extreme, extreme survival situation, the experts say that you know, you drink, drink what, what, what water you can get, but you suffer the uh, possibility of catching, you know, uh, different pathogens and diseases and viruses and stuff like that because there's all kinds of protozoa and microbes in there that is harmful to the human system. So primarily, um, if you don't have a filtration system, then you'll want to boil the water and uh, at least three minutes, uh, you know, well, 
at most three minutes, at least one minute. Uh, to be safe, three, minute is, uh, three minutes is the marker, a roy rolling boil, and that's at 212 degrees Fahrenheit um, to make sure that you kill all the microbes um, that are harmful. Um, and then the water is supposed to be disinfected and safe to drink. But prior to that, or even before that, uh, you can filter it uh, to make it somewhat safe to drink. Boiling is still the most foolproof way of making water safe, so you must boil the water either way. Uh, through a filtration system, I have some charcoal here, and this charcoal, um, you can make charcoal from a campfire. Hardwood is good. You probably don't want to use resinous wood like pine, uh, as an example, uh, but this is um, hardwood oak uh, charcoal, and I just commercial went to the hardware store and got basically a bag of actual pure 100% charcoal and I uh, broke it down and then I put it through my strainer here and, and washed it off to get rid of a lot of the dust and things. So that's the kind of the first thing you want to do. And then um, I have some sand here and uh, this is just fine sand and then uh, gravel and this is gravel, right? Um, you can use um, as well um, grasses, dry grasses, as long as they're not um, contaminated grasses, or grasses that have some sort of flavor uh, to it. Next you're going to need some sort of um, container and in this particular instance, you know, again it's not very primitive, this is more resilient living. Um, there's going to be plenty of um, two liter refuse bottles, plastic, uh, that um, have a cap with it that I've tapped some holes in and then I've cut off the bottom and I've used the lighter to kind of sear the edges so that they're not sharp so I don't cut myself as a safety precaution. And then I have a catch bottle or jar um, or a pot because then after this then you can, do, you can boil the water to actually to be sure that the water is safe and disinfected. So the first thing is again notice I've got the holes in this um, this uh, plastic bottle and then you can usually take a piece of cloth or a bandana uh, or some grasses or actual rocks in this case this is, in this case it'll just be a piece of paper towel and I'm just going to put to the bottom. Alright, so that'll be at the bottom there. A bandana, a piece of cloth, uh, grasses, or uh, rocks you can um, uh, put at the end here. Then uh, you would fill this or partially fill this kind of a third of the way uh, with your ground up charcoal. Your charcoal is, one of, is what's going to get rid of um, different uh, microbes and different things. It's going to really filter the water well on a microscopic level. I'm just going to take this and cover this or fill this in here. Like so. so if you're using charcoal from a campfire again you you will want to grind grind it up and then wash it in a, in a creek or a river or something like that. Um, or you have to re do, really the process is to run the water through your, your filtration system um, multiple times. So that's really the process. And then so we've got this layer of charcoal in and then we put in a layer of sand. And this is about a cup, cup and a half. Or about another third. Okay. Shift that around like so. So that was sand and then your gravel. And you could repeat this layering process multiple times depending on how 
call your um, container is. And then I might even put grasses here, right? And then another layer of charcoal, some more sand, more gravel. You know, you just keep stacking like that to make your filtration system. So, So this is essentially our um, filtration system of charcoal, sand, and then gravel. And then we're going to take our lake water and we're going to run it through. We're going to see how um, it's kind of murky and green a little bit. We want to see how uh, clean we can get this. So just gently, slowly pour this. What this will start to do is it will start to work its way and it'll start filtering through. So right now it's showing up pretty and murky and that's all the loose sand and gravel. But we're going to repeat this process a few times. Okay, so that was the first pass and the water's looking pretty murky to me. Um, doesn't look very clean, so we're going to do it again, and I'm going to just shift it into another container, and then pour this water that we just filtered, filtered and we're going to run it through another pass. And there's some sediment at the bottom of this here, the sand and the sediment. I'm going to get rid of that. We don't want to pour that back in there. Again, um, you could put grasses on the top, you could possibly put another t-shirt or another bandana on, on, on the top, and um, that would help uh, keep the smaller particles from filtering back into your uh, cleaner water. So we're just going to continue this process. Until uh, until we have some clear water. Okay, it may not show up show up well on the camera here, but the water is a little bit clearer through the second pass. So I'm going to switch uh, switch jars again and um, run this through the filter again until we get some at least decent looking um, water. Okay, after our third uh, filtration or pass through, the uh, water is getting a little bit more clear. Uh, I think we're going to uh, run it through again, and it might even be, it might even at that point look potable or drinkable. So we're just going to switch containers, and actually I'm going to end in this container, so we'll run it through two more times, and then um, we should probably have some pretty decent looking water from uh, lake water. Okay, this pass uh, looks pretty good. Um, water's much, much better, uh, even according to the way the lake, it started out initially from the lake. Um, it's look, looking pretty good, but this is thicker glass and it's got, um, it's got ridges in it, so it's kind of refracting the light a little bit, so it's kind of hard to tell. So we're gonna do one more pass, which will be the fifth path, path pass through uh, this jar and then uh, we'll see what we come up with. So through this process, you're just gonna have to filter the water as many times as you deem necessary to get it clear. And again, the more charcoal you add, the better. You can add another layer of charcoal. You can have a bigger or wider volume of a funnel uh, to uh, really uh, maximize 
the area and um, the use of your filter. So slowly we're going to add more. One more pass, this will be the fifth pass, and we'll see what we have. But the water is looking pretty good now. It's actually looking really good. See where we're at when we're all done. Okay, um, it looks like we have a pretty clear. Uh, a jar of water using charcoal, sand, and gravel. Um, we filtered five times uh, and uh, this water looks doable, it looks drinkable. Uh, we could probably do it one more time which would make it six, uh, but at this stage for my purposes this, is a, this it shows that this filter would work and filter out the water, but to make it to disinfect the water to make sure there's no pathogens we would have to boil it. Um, and that would be highly recommended. Uh, the other method would be, if you didn't have fire source, would be to set it in the hot sun uh, for about an hour or so. Uh, the UV rays would kill any pathogens, provided you have a clear vessel like this, uh, I would presume. Um, I've never done it. That's just what I understand. That's what I hear. Uh, if you don't have a uh, heat source. but. Um, uh, I would go ahead and I probably will do that just for the sake of the completion of this experiment is to go ahead and heat this water and go ahead and drink it. Um, again, it's from a local lake, so I'm, I'm, not, I'm, I'm, I'm not fearful that it's going to be contaminated with too many critters, cre creepy crawlers, anything like that. Um, but um, it doesn't have, seem to have a smell to it. No smell to it at all. Um, and the water looks potable, looks drinkable. So next, next step would be boiling this water. All right, so here is the uh, water uh, that we ha we ended up with. It's pretty clear. I don't know if it shows up very well on the camera. Um, it still needs to be boiled, but it looks very passable. It looks drinkable. Uh, it has no scent to it at all. Uh, and then this is where we kind of pretty much started. So this is just the lake water. Um, and as you can see, it's murky and it's got bits of algae in it and whatever else is going on in there. Um, it'd be interesting to look at it under a microscope. Um, so, all I'm going to do is I'm going to boil this uh, for about, I don't know, two minutes. Uh, three minutes is the uh, recommended time. Uh, the least amount of time is one minute. Well, three minutes is the best time, the best amount of time to boil to get rid of microscopic pathogens uh, from water. Um, the setup that we have here is again I just have a plastic um, an old plastic coke uh, bottle that the, the top has been cut out um, I put a piece of cloth or uh, um, paper towel at the very bottom there's holes punched into the cap then it's charcoal wood charcoal sand and gravel and I could have done that whole kind of combination all the way up and I ended up having to run the water through uh, to get it to look this clear. Uh, that cleared away pretty much all of the interesting bits uh, about six times. About six times is what it took. Um, four times was, was kind of um, where it really started to look well. I just kind of did it an additional two times and got it really looking really clear. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and boil this and then um, uh, have a swig.